Please join me in the pastoral prayer. Holy God, we gather together each in our own place and we offer you praise and thanksgiving. We are grateful that we are still able to gather despite the uncertainty that surrounds us. Our whole lives have been turned upside down. We know that you are with each one of us as we come to seek new ways of seeing you. We come with our questions, our doubts, and our fears, and we know that you will always be with us. We come seeking to faithfully follow you in new and unexpected ways. Be our guide on this journey. At this time, we pray for all those whose lives have been affected by the COVID virus. We pray for those who have fallen ill and for the grieving families who have lost loved ones. We pray for all the healthcare workers and first responders who are using their gifts and skills to heal people. We pray for all those who are essential workers, many who are barely making a living wage. May we truly see their value and worth. May we offer thanksgiving and a blessing whenever we encounter them. We pray for our teachers and families who are trying to homeschool their children as best as they are able. We ask for blessings for those who are lonely, shut in, isolated, or who on the other hand are finding it hard to find time for themselves. These are indeed uncertain times and there are so many prayers that remain on our hearts. In this time of silence, hear our prayers. Holy One, make your presence known among them, that their own hearts might feel your comforting hand. As we travel this journey of faith, we want to see you more clearly. We want to know you more deeply. We want to feel your presence more fully. May we recognize the wonder of the gift which lies with you and receive it with joy and thanksgiving. In the name of the resurrected Christ, we say the prayer he taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>